Mercedes, you're just laying there in a recliner. Nothing to do. All relaxed. And here's Marley. She's just sitting there. All kinds of calm. For the moment. You want to get in the truck? You want to get in the truck? You want to get in the truck? Go get some chicken? You want to get in the truck? Huh? You want to get in the truck? You want to get in the truck? Oh, oh, oh. oh you want to get in the truck? Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah! We're going to get in the truck. You want to get some chicken nuggets? You want to get some chicken nuggets? Oh, get in the truck. Oh, 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 oh. You want to get in the truck? Oh, 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 oh. Nuggets. Hey, will you, will you sell me an order of onion rings? I'll you whatever you want to try. Hold on. Uncooked. Okay. Without cooking them. The, the no, the onion rings. Oh, the onion rings. Don't cook them. Right. That's easy. Gotcha. Come okay. around. Thank you. How you doing, young lady? Hi, do you want a large onion ring or you want a small? No, no just a small. Okay. I'm doing a YouTube video. I'm, I'm wanting to experiment. I'm making my own onion rings, and I want to try to duplicate Burger King's onion rings. Well, good luck. I'm going to try. Are you taking my girlfriend's picture? Nope, nope. I don't put nobody's face on. <laughs> her hands and tattoos, maybe, but not her face. <laughs> I've been advertising all over, all over YouTube land, Burger King. Yeah. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> it's having your way. If you don't want to cook, we ain't gonna cook them. One, of, hey, one of my viewers gave me a twenty-five dollar gift card really? to, to buy chicken nuggets for my dogs. Awesome. Three forty-four, Bob. Thank you. Now, what temperature do you cook them onion rings? We cook them uh, at 365 degrees. 365? For one minute and one minute and 15 seconds. At 365? Yeah. Okay. So all my years growing up in, in the restaurant business, everything was 350, 350, 350. The temperature or the cook yeah. time? No, the, the, the temperature. Oh, yeah. We got uh, our French fryers cook at 353, 
Oh, that might be proprietary secrets. I shouldn't say. Right. Okay. Now, <laughs> now these th these are minced onions, right? Not are these actual they, onion rings or are they minced they onions? They are minced onions. Okay. Thanks, what, Bob. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to duplicate them. Oh yeah. Yeah, for a video. Uh, okay. Well, have fun with that. All right. We'll see you, man. Take it easy. Chicken? Oh yeah. Mmm. What about you, Mari? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, we got in the truck and went and got some chicken, didn't we? Yeah. And I fed you some in the truck, and then I went back and got some more. Yeah. Yeah, you like chicken. Oh yeah, chicken. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Say thank you, Robert in Texas. Oh yeah. You want some more? There you go. You want some more, Sadie? There you go. You like your chicken nuggets, don't you, huh? You want some more? You want some more? Uh, speak. Say, say, uh, come on. Speak. No chicken nugget? No chicken nugget? Say, uh, speak. Come on. Say, Thank you, Robert in Texas. Okay, all gone. All gone. <laughs> Folks, what I thought I'd show you right quick. It's just the flavors I'm going to mix up for the batch I'm going to have working for the month of April. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way that peculiar wine worked out, which was just the alcohol wash. It was just water, sugar, and yeast. And in my recipe here, a 1.75, I'm using 1.75 cups of sugar. I, I do a cup of sugar per quart of liquid or per liter. I don't worry about an ounce of liquid here and there. And I use a half a teaspoon of yeast, which is more than enough. Uh, but the flavors I'm going to do today is a Concord Grape Blueberry. This <laughs> sounds good. I had to get some more pomegranate plum. Oh my God! 
that pomegranate plum was about the best thing I ever tasted other than my good old reliable grape. Come across this and I thought I'd give this a try. This is 100% juice. This is white grape and cherry. Ooh. And then this one is a tropical trio. It's a blend of grape, apple, passion fruit, mango, and pineapple. So we'll see how that works out. Anyway, the recipe is the same for all these. The, these are two quarts, so I'll be mixing two cups of sugar per two quarts in a pitcher. And then what doesn't fit back in here is going to go into another jug and it's going to be a combination of all four of those. So we'll see what happens there. <laughs> anyway, uh, like I said, this is, this is one and three quarter cups of sugar going to go in there with my water. And, and uh, uh, you've seen me do this before. This is on my, this is my most peculiar wine. But I just wanted to show you what I'm going to have working up. And I might just for shits and giggles, I might, I might do this apple juice too. It says it's 100%, well that's 100% vitamin C. But it's filtered water, it's high fructose corn syrup, I don't know, I may just hold off on that apple. All right, well when we come back, we're gonna be doing something that I just absolutely love, and that's homemade onion rings, yeah. We'll be back. Well, how y'all doing? I ain't doing worth a shit on the fat train. I keep sitting at the station. I keep forgetting to get on it. But I tell you what, you know, other than decadent chocolate, I reckon the most favorite thing for me to eat is something fried. God, I love fried foods. And that's why I'm so fat. And it's one thing to eat that delicious southern fried chicken. But there ain't nothing I like. No more. I mean, it just, to me, it is a delicacy. And it's so easy to make, and that's onion rings. I love onion rings. But it just seems like it's always a hassle because fried taters, hell, you wash the tater off, chop it up, throw it in grease, and, you know, eat it. And with a with an onion ring, there's a little bit of work, but it's so worth it. So that's what we're going to do today. I done got me five more flavors of wine of working. I've uh, I've showed this new little Presto kitchen kettle here that that uh, I've got heating up. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up my onions and and we're going to make us some onion rings. So uh, let me get these onions cut up and then I'll go over the ingredients with you. Now these are yellow onions. And I got these at Aldi. Three pounds for 89 cents. I was very pleased with that. So, just going to cut these yellow onions up. Oh, roughly three eighths of an inch thick. That's roughly, it ain't, it ain't critical. A little thicker, a little longer to cook. A little thinner, a little quicker they cook. It ain't no big deal. And then all you gotta do is just break them apart. All right. Well, that's just one onion. I reckon we'll just start with that because, boy, oh, that's a dead gum pile of onions there. All right. Well, I have my oil preheated at 400 degrees and now then let's mix up a little bit of batter then get my bowl all right well the first thing we're going to need is a half a half a cup of flour there we 
go. Now, this is not my recipe. Well, it is and it ain't. It's mine because I've changed it, but the basic recipe was somebody else's on, on YouTube, so I can't take full credit for it. This was Chef John instead of old Paw Paw. Okay. Anyway, it's a half a cup of flour and a quarter cup of cornstarch. So there's a quarter cup of cornstarch. And here's, here's the interesting thing here. I thought it was cool as could be. That old Chef John says, try to use some instant mashed potatoes. He said them instant mashed potatoes will sure enough help that batter thicken up. So he says two tablespoons. I'm gonna put me just a smidge of more. That's instant mashed potatoes. Hmm. All right, now then, we need some cayenne pepper. Well, there it is. That looks pretty good. I like it a little spicy. And we're gonna need a little bit of sea salt. refrigerator and get that. I wasn't going to buy club soda. I was just going to use a can of generic Sprite. I mean, hell, it's soda. It's clear. It's carbonated. But when I was at Walmart, hell, it was only 60-something cents for a big old, uh, big old liter of it. So I said, oh, hell, I'm buy that. So let me get that club soda. Well, this is one quart, 1.8 ounce, it's a, it's a liter. Club soda ain't got no smell. I'm like, what the hell am I doing with it? I'm supposed to put a whole cup in there. It's supposed to be cold. I've had this in the freezer chilling a little bit. supposed to stir this up. Now like I said, this ain't my recipe. I've always done a beer batter. But when I saw what this fella done, I said, boy, that look, sure looks good. So I figured I'd try it. So let's get this mixed up real good. Let that set a minute. Put this club soda back in the fridge there. I tell you, this is really different than what I've done in the past. You know, I've always used milk and eggs, all kinds of stuff like that. Now, this is panko breadcrumbs, that's all it is. That. It's a Ziploc bag in there. All righty then. So let me get a let me get a couple of plastic forks. 
Let's see. See if I can get any more unorganized here. There's that. There's that. Or to use that and that and get rid of that. Move them over out of the way. Well, I can't wait till we get moved to that farmhouse. It has a huge kitchen. I mean, huge. All right. So. That batter's all mixed up good. We'll drop us an onion ring down in there. And then put it in them breadcrumbs. We'll see if that does any good. All right. Oh my. Oh my. They are looking good already. Oh my goodness. Don't it look good? Oh man. Oh yeah. I don't think, I don't think Sonic ain't got shit on me. Oh, that's a good looking onion rings there. Look at that. Look at that thing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. We got us a winner right here. I think the secret, not only about them, mashed, them instant mashed potatoes, but them panko breadcrumbs. Mm. 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 Oh, it's good. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Oh, that's about all I can do. Mm. Wish I had me some taters. I'd have me some fried taters. Ooh, 
What a mess I've made. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, <sighs> I eat them about as fast as I can fry them. <laughs> ah! Man, you talk about good though. God, them things are good. I watched video after video after video on how to make daggum onion rings. I even watched Bobby Flay. How Bobby Flay made onion rings. But I gotta tell you, this this fella here, Chef Chef, uh, it's uh, his website is Food Wishes, Food Wishes dot blogspot dot com, and he is the only one I ever heard of using mashed potatoes in the batter, and uh. Boy, that, those panko crumbs, they really do it to it now. Well, I gotta find me a plate. Put these, I'll use that. Put these onion rings on, make a pretty picture. Well, you talk about good now. early ones were a lot prettier because those crumbs are nice and dry. But there's Paw Paw's onion rings. Mm. And they're good. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.